actually I must say that even my optional has been the reason why I was not able to clear for the initial few years because zoology has got uh, very little overlap with actual general studies but eventually it is because of zoology that I could score well in my mains. I've seen numerous failures so for the first time first five times I have failed brutally uh, so it is only the last time that I was able to uh, get through so how I kept myself motivated is that uh, one thing is you have to believe in your capability you have to believe that you have that uh, uh, that extreme fire and that spirit within you and uh, that is going to take you ahead prelims because it's approaching very close and I don't think I can give any sort of advice at this point of time just go with your heart and consider prelims as a wonderful game that you've always enjoyed uh, take one question at a time and make sure that you give your best if you don't know it it's fine it's going to be difficult for almost everyone okay so now that they are asking conceptual based questions I think uh, people who are thorough with their concepts will find it uh, quite comfortable hello everyone my name is uh, Sahitya and I was able to secure rank 24 in uh, this year's civil services examination and uh, to this video I would like to share my experience of the long journey of my civil services preparation uh, so let me tell you that this is my sixth attempt and uh, this has been my fourth mains and uh, it has been my second interview uh, so by now you must have understood that it was very very long I started my preparation from 2015 and uh, in 2021 exam I was able to clear uh, so about uh, my brief background uh, I have uh, completed my masters in industrial pharmacy in uh, New York and then I uh, worked as a junior scientist for one and a half years at New Jersey and then I quit that job and then I came back to India to pursue civil services uh, little did I know that uh, it would take so long long for me to get to this stage uh, so uh, uh, I would I would like to say a few things that might be helpful to aspirants both uh, fresh and uh, veterans so my optional is zoology and uh, actually I must say that even my optional has been the reason why I was not able to clear for the initial few years because zoology has got uh, very little overlap with actual general studies but eventually it is because of zoology that I could score well in my mains uh, so coming to my journey I would like to say that uh, the initial years was difficult because I could not understand the demand of the examination and uh, there was uh, the ecosystem that I studied uh, unfortunately did not help me in uh, getting the pulse or getting the nerve of the examination which is why I couldn't clear prelims in the first two attempts and uh, it was in my third attempt that I cleared my uh, prelims. So as far as my mistakes are concerned, I would say that mains has been my weak point. And why mains was my weak point was because I have this habit of studying uh, too much and uh, not sticking to the demand of the syllabus and not sticking to the demand of the question or the examination. So I think most of us must be going through this for people who are voracious readers or for people who are interested or who are excited to uh, learn and uh, study about new things and uh, uh, fresh topics I think uh, those people will find this difficulty of not uh, sticking to the point or not sticking to the syllabus so I would like to say to those people that it's absolutely fine that you take out some time to read non-fiction books or watch videos which are really really related to the exam but please make sure that uh, you at the end of the day must be sure of what you're going to present about one particular topic let's say you're studying about governance then you will have to make sure that you know what you have to write when a question is asked about e-governance or when a question is asked about uh, um, how we can make governance better so you need to have the idea okay so please don't uh, don't endlessly or aimlessly study textbooks or non-fiction books and then uh, uh, digress from your preparation so that is one takeaway and the second one is for people who are taking the optionals uh, who don't have any overlap so in this also this is extremely different the examination is extremely different from the kind of textbooks that you study for example in zoology I was uh, uh, studying all standard books for the initial years I was uh, going in depth and then I was understanding
understanding the concepts but eventually if they ask you a question about let's say morphogenesis if you if they ask you a question about uh, uh, in vitro fertilization you have to write those 250 words or you have to write those 150 words within a period of uh, let's say 10 minutes or at max uh, 7 minutes so make sure that you have the content for that okay so you might know 100 pages about in vitro fertilization but if you're not able to present it i think it becomes so difficult and uh, the next one is needless to say answer writing so answer writing is not something that you can uh, go and write so let me tell you that uh, in my journey i think uh, uh, the one thing that gave me high point was not when i saw the uh, name of my uh, of, of my name in the list but what actually gave me the high point was uh, it was in my last uh, the preparation mode before the mains this year that is in december 2021 that was when i was writing my tests i was writing my mock tests and uh, i was uh, practicing and uh, that was for the first time that i was able to finish those 20 questions i think that gave me the high point more than what i saw in the on the result day uh, when i was able to finish the question paper in my mock in december was when i really felt happy actually so that phase i want all of you to reach as early as possible in your journey and so what was responsible for that what was responsible was because this time i knew that i will have to read only limited and i will have to present that within a short time frame so that is how i made my changes i downloaded uh, material from internet and i downloaded uh, topper's notes especially mr rushikesh reddy's uh, uh, notes so i'm thankful to him as well so i downloaded that notes for certain topics of gs1 and gs2 and gs3 and uh, for ethics also i have uh, studied dk balaji sir's book uh, so i think i revised them n number of times and i started my writing so i think uh, both of these were really really helpful for me to improve my speed uh, so that's that's another takeaway and in addition to that i must say that uh, even last year's interview so as far as interview preparation is concerned last year also i had given lots of mocks and then uh, all my mocks went well but on the final day it was it was uh, just uh, uh, extremely extremely unfortunate that my final interview of uh, 2020 did not go well at all and i ended up scoring very less marks and this year i was able to make certain corrections in terms of my body language and in terms of my presentation and uh, fortunately i was able to increase the uh, score of my interview as well so even for interview we all think that um, uh, we need to uh, keep our uh, preparation uh, minimum or whatever but i must say that for interview also you need to prepare well content and knowledge are also very very important for interview so make sure that you're thorough and make sure that you're articulate okay and in addition to that i would like to say that uh, uh, in addition to the preparation in addition to the preparation in addition to studying in addition to giving tests uh, what is more more important is the mindset that you have to carry and for me because it has taken very long time since 2015 i've been full time preparing for this exam uh, and i have seen numerous failures so for the first time first time, five times i have failed brutally uh, so it is only the last time that i was able to uh, get through so how i kept myself motivated is that uh, one thing is you have to believe in your capability you have to believe that you have that uh, uh, that extreme fire and that spirit within you and uh, that is going to take you ahead that is going to take you ahead and uh, uh, i would uh, read books i mean uh, one of the most uh, favorite books of mine has been fountainhead by ayn rand and the character of howard rourke uh, so i think if uh, you get time you can just read this uh, book i think it's it's just a beautiful book that will tell you about how you need to be in general not only for a, for an examination but for a career and for life both of it how what is the kind of mindset that you need to carry to excel or to show competence and in addition to that i uh, do follow certain spiritual videos and then i uh, do follow um, lots of good music that keeps me motivated uh, 
uh, and there are uh, many other books also that have uh, kept me uh, quite uh, uh, motivated but i think uh, motivation as many people have already said is something very very ephemeral it does not last for long it is the discipline that will take you ahead so i think i would say that uh, try to make the process enjoyable so how i would make my process enjoyable is that while i was studying because obviously it was uh, it was my sixth attempt then i had to read the same topic again and again and again so how i would make it entertaining is i would just uh, explain it to my friends or i would like to uh, uh, say that i also converted it into some interesting story form it is as though i am telling an interesting story to my friend or to my cousin or to my mother or to my father so i would explain a lot uh, to them so that way uh, revision had at least become more easier and uh, in addition to that i would like to say that um, you can also do it in the form of question and answer if you are reading a particular topic so even before you read the topic just frame a question out of it uh, for example if you are reading about society so if you are talking about women so if you are talking about women so before you read the same material what you can do is you can ask a question what is it that is troubling the women of this country or what is it that this country is doing for women so just ask yourself few questions and then try to come up with an answer and then correlate that particular answer of yours with the material that you have in your hand so that way you can uh, brainstorm and that way you can integrate and that way you can make your preparation more enjoyable and for prelims because it's approaching very close and i don't think i can give any sort of advice at this point of time just go with your heart and consider prelims as a wonderful game that you've always enjoyed uh, take one question at a time and make sure that you give your best if you don't know it it's fine it's going to be difficult for almost everyone okay so now that they are asking conceptual based questions i think uh, people who are thorough with their concepts will find it uh, quite comfortable and uh, 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 having said everything i would say that uh, please don't make this examination a do or die thing when i was giving my last interview also i attended few mocks and then uh, uh, there was one sir who told me that uh, this might be the end of your preparation or this might be the end of your attempts and even if you don't get through or even if you fail you have to understand that this is just the end of an exam not the end of your life there is nothing to get depressed about there are people who are outside civil services who are doing brilliant jobs and who have made an extraordinary career out of it and uh, i'm not saying that don't get into the exam nothing like that please do please put all your heart in it and one day you will reach the destination but i'm saying for those people who have faced repeated failures that there is nothing to be bogged down at all there is nothing to be bogged down at all and uh, understand that there are so many factors which are responsible for bringing success in this exam and uh, one cannot blame oneself unnecessarily if one does not uh, make it or if one does not succeed in one particular attempt okay and uh, i would like to say that uh, all the best to all of you i sincerely hope that uh, the universal force is with you and uh, all the best to all of you and uh, uh, god speed to all of you thank you